Okay, uh, Jack, have you got that uh, picture now? Uh, Fred, about one quarter of our screen is uh, lighted, and uh, it's impossible to uh, determine what you're looking at right now. Maybe you could give us a little verbal description. Okay, it's uh, looking through the uh, AOT in uh, position uh, four, uh, right rear, and uh, we're looking back uh, toward the... Uh, over the uh, side hatch at the uh, amp side of the uh, service console. Okay, is, uh, the, is it too dark a picture, Jack? Uh, you think the f-stop open may help? No, Fred, it's got to be centered up a little bit. That's uh, primarily what you have to do. Uh, Jack, uh, we can't turn it up anymore because uh, the uh, side hatch is only in one part of the AOT. The rest of that blank that you've seen is really uh, uh, space. Okay, we'll try another one then. A little better center, Dave. In fact, the only other one we have that uh, shows uh, the whole picture. Uh, we're on the forward D10 of the AOT now, position two. And uh, you should be seeing uh, something uh, familiar like a radar antenna. Okay, we see you moving the uh, camera up to the AOT land, and we got a real good picture now. Okay, uh, Jack, I'm looking out the uh, right window now, and uh, not too far off in the distance now, you can see the, uh, the objective. And I'll zoom in on it here a little and see if it brings it in better. It's actually uh, beginning to look a little bigger now. Uh, you can see quite distinctly uh, some of the features uh, with the naked eye. And uh, so far, I guess I have to even agree with uh, him that it's uh, still looking pretty uh, gray uh, with a white spot. Okay, Fred, we're getting a good uh, picture of your destination there.
And over there, tucked away in his uh, armrest, uh, is our activation checklist, which we'll be using very shortly. Up at the top of the window, we have uh, our uh, camera already mounted, uh, ready for uh, the photograph of the descent. And now, Fred uh, engaged in his favorite pastime, I've found out on this flight so far. He's not in the food locker, is he? That's his second favorite pastime. He's, he's rigging his hammock for sleep on the lunar surface now to try it out to see what it's going to be like. Roger, uh, sleeping and then eating. It's kind of difficult here, uh, Jack, uh, getting into a hammock in zero G. I'm not uh, sure if I keep floating away from it or uh, it keeps moving away from me. If you notice a few things floating around, uh, we've found, found just about one or two watches occasionally. And for the benefit of those that may wonder uh, where uh, Jim sleeps, uh, it'd be a little difficult to rig his hammock in here uh, right now uh, with the hatch open, but his uh, run laterally in this direction, uh, 4 a.m. So uh, he has the uh, upper berth and uh, I, uh, I get the lower berth. And uh, now while uh, Fred's uh, taking his hammock down and based on it, I might give you some idea of the sort of confusion of attitude since there is no up or down. And I'm uh, situated on top of the Aston engine uh, just at the uh, entrance to the tunnel. I'll reverse the camera 180 degrees and go from Fred, look through the tunnel again back at Odyssey, and we might pick up part of Jack. There he is. We see him. Okay, uh, Houston, uh, for the benefit of the television viewers, uh, we've just about completed our little uh, inspection of Aquarius, and uh, now we're proceeding through the hatch again and through the tunnel and going back to the Odyssey. Okay, Jim, it's been a great show so far. And finally, I'll uh, Jack let me back into the Odyssey as we slide on through the tunnel here.
Houston 13 and Houston on TV. Yeah, we sure are. We got a uh, good picture of the skipper there. Okay, well, we can show you now, uh, a little added benefit, uh, we've got the drogue on, uh, Fred's, uh, couch in the command module right now. So we stood it temporarily, uh, while we're checking out the, uh, on Aquarius. And underneath his, uh, couch, we've got the, uh, probe stowed. Quite a big powers of device. Can't be able to do a shot of it for you. We're looking now at our uh, probe that we uh, place uh, on the nose of uh, the Z. Uh, it's a very heavy thing, but uh, of course, in uh, zero gravity, it uh, weighs nothing, and it's much easier to move around. As a matter of fact, both uh, Fred and Jack commented, as many people said, uh, of how much uh, bigger the spacecraft appears uh, in actual flight uh, when you have such ease of movement compared to our simulators, which would be training rather difficult. Okay, we're seeing a good picture of the probe there, uh, Jim, and uh, looks like the characters uh, shaved before the show this time. Well, Fred said he had to keep up his TV image. Yeah, that may be uh, my first and last time, though, Jack. It took Fred one hour to shave. Okay, Jim, uh, we're seeing the tape recorder now, and uh, just by the way, how long do you expect to keep the TV on this evening? Okay, Jim, uh, it's been a real good TV show. Uh, we think we ought to conclude it from here now. Uh, what do you think? Roger, sounds good, and 
This is the crew of Apollo 13, wishing everybody there a nice evening, and uh, we're just about ready to close out our inspection of Aquarius and get back to a pleasant evening at Odyssey.